Hello everybody. Today I wanted to show you tic-tac-toe in a very basic easy form of tic-tac-toe. I've seen the others out there uh, that are posted on YouTube. They're okay. Um, that's the very first game that I made was tic-tac-toe. Um, unfortunately I don't think that some of them were made as good as what they could have been. Um, they're a little bit more complex than what they need to be. So today I'm going to show you how to make a fairly simple tic-tac-toe. My game's already made, so I'm going to go ahead and go over it briefly. What we have here is we're just using some picture boxes. Now we got picture box one, picture box two, picture box three, four, five, and so on and so forth. So what I've done here is I've created a grid for myself, starting out with picture box one, you know, and so on and so forth. Now what I've done is I've gone one step further if we take a look at the code. What we have here is we have A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, you know, etc, etc. So how this works is just like a standard grid. A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. Alright, so pretty simple there on why these are here. So next thing we probably want to look at is turn. Well obviously turn means you win a turn so you just add one to the turn. In fact I'll go ahead and show you. Here's my code. This code pretty much just repeats itself so I'll go over it real quickly with you. Now as I was saying turn, right here's my turn. When we click on this box it's plus one to turn. So turn right now is equal to, to 1. All right, so it just adds 1 to that every time we click. And it doesn't care how high that goes or how low that goes. All right, so the next thing I want to go over, when you think of turns, I think of light switches. I think you're turning on the light switch or you're turning it off. All right, so what we have here, I'll go ahead and close this and we'll come back to it real quick in just a second, is we have this right here. This is very simple. If turn one is true, which is player one, then it's your turn. If it's turn two, it's your turn. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's either the light switch is on or it's off. You're either on e turn X or you're on turn O. It doesn't really matter. The computer doesn't know and it doesn't care. It just says, you know, it's either turned on or turned off. It's pretty basic. Now, our load event, this is pretty important right here. You need to tell the the game, you know, who's going to start first. Is it going to be turn one or turn two? Obviously, X usually goes first traditionally, as far as I'm concerned. So, in mine, turn one goes first, which is X. So let's go back to our click event. This is basically where everything's going to go on uh, when you start out with your code. So what you're going to do here is you're going to do your your turn check, basically. You're going to say, hey, if it was turn 1, and that was true, then A1 on our grid, that's going to equal 1. We're going to change our box to X, and turn 1 is false now. It's no longer player 1. Now it's going to be turn player 2's turn, and we need to go back to up to player turn. So it says, okay, so player two, it's your turn. Okay, well, that means it's X. Okay, now that it's, or I'm sorry, now it's O's turn. Now that X's turn is over. So now it's going to skip down here. It's going to say, okay. Now, what we're going to do here, it's going to say, okay, we're going to disable this button. So you can't click on it anymore. We're going to add plus one to the turn. Well, the turn counter, we should say. And then we're going to check for a win. We're going to check and see if anybody won. Alright, so if, since nobody won in this case, we're going to move on. We're going to say, let's say that it's uh, O's turn now. Let's say that O clicked on picture box 2. Alright, so it's gonna, our grid's going to equal B1 is going to equal 2 because somebody clicked there. And, that, and we're going to say picture box, we're going to have to give it to picture box O. Now we're going to say your turn is over, and now it's X's turn. Go up to player turn, 
you know, to find out exactly whose turn it is, we know whose turn it is, it's going to be X. So, now we're going to disable this box, so you can't click on it anymore. We're going to add one to the turn, and we're going to check for the win factor. This is pretty much, you'll repeat this process, it's pretty much the same code you'll use for all nine boxes, it's not going to change. Tic-tac-toe, It's think of it as light switch once again, you know, it's the light switch is up or it's down. It's just that simple. Now, where it becomes a really annoying, really painful is in the wind. Now, I tried to make this as condensed as possible. I have seen people who had algorithms on how to do it. This is pretty much the way I'm doing it. I'm doing it with um, a series of if statements. So, w what this does right here is if A1 in our grid and A2 and A3 are all X, then X wins. Or if B1, B2, and B3 are all X, then X wins. You know, and so on and so forth. You just repeat that whole entire process. You know, like once again, think of it as a grid. You know, that's how you really want to set up your tic tac toe box and future games anytime you make any game. Um, obviously future games that are more complex will have a much more complex grid like chess for instance but we're doing tic-tac-toe and it's pretty simple but still get in the habit of when you make games that are turn based you know make a grid it just makes life easier to set it up as a grid as opposed to just throwing you know whatever out there you know every possible variation it's going to take you forever to code that. Grids just work so much better. Alright, so there's our code for that, for that part, for X. If we come down here, we see O. O is pretty much doing a standard check as well to see, you know, what all is going on here. Another thing that's critical when you're writing your software, or your games, or whatever you're making, you know, comment. Comment. You know, make these comments. Rather, if your grammar and spelling is horrible, whatever, who cares? Make sure you put something in there to let you know or whoever is reading this code know what's going on or at least attempt to tell them what's going on. Alright, so what's happening here is if, if, these, if any of these are true, you know, the message box is going to pop up and it's going to say O wins or X wins. The next thing it's going to do, if there is a winner, if there is a winner, it's going to reset our game. Alright, so let's say that there isn't a winner. Let's say if we get through all the boxes and nobody wins. That does happen in tic-tac-toe, believe it or not, if you've ever played. So, when that happens, this is where we were keeping track of our turns. If our turn counter gets all the way up to 10, we're going to say nobody won. There were no winners and let's reset the game. So, let's go up here and see what reset says. Hey, there it is. Resets turns all the picture boxes back to nothing. It tells you that picture boxes 1 through 9 are re-enabled, that now you can click on them again. And it resets our grid, the values on our grid. So they're all set to 0 now instead of 1 or 2. So that's pretty much how tic-tac-toe works, um, as far as I'm concerned at least. It's pretty basic. You guys can feel free to copy and paste this code, or we'll do whatever you want with it. Um, it's pretty much out there. So I hope you enjoy, you know, post, commit, whatever you want to do. Alright, thanks.